Hi, this is Dr. A. In this medical terminology video, we are going to look at the pharmacology basics. So we are looking for our basics at the routes and methods of drug administration. So the route of administration is the method by which a drug is introduced into the body. So to be effective, drugs must be administered by a particular route, what they've been approved for, ideally. And in some cases, there may be a variety of routes by which a drug can be administered. So for example, let's take acetaminophen, also known as a brand name Tylenol. So you can take it orally as a pill, you can take orally as a liquid. There is no injectable form of Tylenol, but there are some Tylenol suppositories. So that one's got a couple of forms. Uh, some drugs just only have one form, and then some have multiple ones. All right, so oral drugs are given by mouth. The advantages of oral drugs is they are easy to administer and they have a slow absorption rate. The disadvantage of oral drugs is also the slow absorption rate. So it can be an advantage and a disadvantage because uh, it doesn't hit you all at once and it can be released over time, for example. So that's an advantage, but the disadvantage is, for example, when you, if you have a headache and you take some acetaminophen or some ibuprofen or something, it might take a little bit for it to absorb and actually have an effect, right? Uh, it may tolerate, it may not tolerate the stomach acid, so the stomach acid might, you know, uh, destroy part of the drug, and, or it could be corrosive to the stomach lining. Uh, so those are all things that have to be factored into the oral drugs, and that's not even counting how the body metabolizes it, absorbs it, etc. So lingual drugs are held under the tongue rather than being swallowed. So be a tablet if you put uh, there under the tongue and you let it dissolve and it dissolves into your mucous membranes and then hits your bloodstream. So um, the medication is absorbed by the blood vessels that are on the underside of the tongue and you're, you have a lot of blood vessels there. And the sublingual rate of absorption is faster than the oral rate because it hits the bloodstream right away, it doesn't have to go all the way down to the stomach and small intestines. Um, this method is used to administer nitroglycerin for chest pain, if anybody's had that or knows their grandparent that's had it, have these little nitroglycerin tablets. If they have angina or chest pain, they'll put pop one in their mouth and just put it under their tongue. Medications given via the inhalation route are inhaled directly into the nose or mouth, and this route is used to uh, administer the aerosol sprays, like uh, the albuterol type of sprays, rescue medications for asthma patients. And that crosses directly into the lungs and has effects immediately. The parenteral route requires the skin to be punctured by a needle. And so there are several parenteral methods. There's intracavitary route, so it injects the medication into a body cavity. There's an intradermal route. It injects the medication under the epidermis at a shallow level, so you think it's just going to right under the skin. If you ever had a TB skin test, that would be one, for example. Uh, intramuscular route injects the medication to the muscle, uh, usually uh, buttocks of thigh, but I've seen it done also sometimes in the arm muscle. Intrathecal route injects the medication into the meningeal space, so that's kind of like down into the spinal cord and stuff, or, you know, that's usually where they put it. Uh, intravenous route, it injects the medication into a vein. And then the subcutaneous route and injects the medication into the subcutaneous layer of the skin in the upper arm or in the abdomen. Um, insulin injections? Yeah. So here are uh, the different ways that they can be administered with the needles. So intramuscular, you go straight down and try to hit the muscle. Subcutaneous, you're trying to go underneath this layer of skin into the subcutaneous layer, but not into the muscle. Intravenous, you're trying to hit into a vein. That's where you put intravenous lines in, IV lines. And the intradermal, you're literally just going right underneath the skin. So the TB skin test is the one you probably might be the most familiar with. Then we have a transdermal route. So it involves medications that are absorbed through the skin. So the medication is often coated on the underside of a patch, and the patch is then applied to the skin. Nicotine patches, if you're trying to quit smoking, are an example of a transdermal medications. Uh, there are some birth control medications uh, also that are patches. And uh, the medication is slowly absorbed from the patch across the skin over time. Uh, and one of the things that you usually have to do is rotate the location of the patch as you switch it out. Directal route uh, involves medication introduced into the rectal cavity. 
like suppositories um, or solutions. Uh, they are used if the patient is unable to take medications by mouth. So that could be if maybe they had surgery or something's going on here, or um, they're just, they can't swallow. Maybe they, they've had a throat surgery or something, or could be like if they're throwing up all the time and anything you put down their mouth is coming right back up, then sometimes uh, doing a suppository um, for fever or for some of the anti-nausea medications can work better. And then the topical route includes medications that are applied directly to the skin or the mucous membranes. So those are your ointments, creams, lotions, uh, and they're used to treat skin infections. So think of triple antibiotic ointment that you would put on a wound or a cut. And then uh, vaginal medications are inserted directly into the vagina. They are usually uh, treating yeast infections or other irritations, and they can include tablets, suppositories, and creams. The eye drops are used during eye examinations to dilate the pupil in order to better examine the interior of the eye. They are also used to treat um, and increase eye pressure in glaucoma and um, eye infections if it's an antibiotic eye drop. Your ear drops are placed directly into the ear canal and they are used to relieve ear pain and to treat ear infections. Buccal drugs are placed under the lip. They may be also placed between the cheek and the gum. So right here, um, I've seen some um, solutions of glucose that can be done there um, if you have somebody who has severe hyp hypoglycemia so their sugar is bottomed out and you they're unconscious so you can't get them to eat and maybe you can't get an IV started where well, you could put that um, glucose solution inside their cheek and it will at least start absorbing into their bloodstream because the cheek is you know, very vascular. All right that wraps up all of our routes of administration for our pharmacology basics.